You want everything. You're among famous people in Kafar. People agree to what you say. You, Ibn Wahab, Abu Musa Ashari, and you, Ashas Kendi. You're leaders of your tribes. Give me a clear answer. You're either with me or with the Sheik. If you're with the Sheik, then you're against the Caliph. If you're with me, you're on the Caliph's side. It's up to you. In a conflict between you and the Sheik, I'll remain neutral. How can Abu Musa Sharu really be neutral, huh? It's the worst characteristic of a Muslim. Every conflict has two sides. A right side and a wrong side. Anyone who isn't on the right side is not a Muslim. You and the Sheikh are both on the wrong side. You don't move in the right direction. The Sheikh doesn't either. <clears throat> You're both corrupt. You've ruined Kufa. What about you, Abu Musa? You're the most pious Sheikh of Kufa. Do you agree with what Ibn Wahhab has said? Hmm? I thought about the conflict between you and the Sheik all night long. You're both fighting for worldly assets and positions. I won't get involved in mundane affairs. <sighs> what about you, Ashaz? Hmm? Will you go or stay? You're the governor of Kufa, Walid. Do you order me to go or do you order me to stay? You can choose to go or choose to stay. I didn't choose to come here. I am here on your orders. If you order me to go, then I will go. I order you to stay, Ashaz. I have a condition if I have to stay. I agree with what Abu Musa Ashari said. The Sheikh is fighting to keep his position, and you're fighting for wealth. <laughs> I'll stay with someone who can give me benefits. I think the rest of the people who are here think the same. All right, then. Renew your allegiance. Going on, Abu Zubay. So far, everything has been going as you want, Walid. A pulpit and three preachers. Couldn't be better. If Walid does something wrong, the Caliph has to make up for it. We're not responsible for it. If we stand up against the governor of Kufa, the city will be torn to pieces. Who'll be responsible for it? If the Sheikh is aware of these things and still continues to oppose, he is a sinner, isn't he? May God protect us. It's clear what we should do. The Sheikh was an aide to the Prophet. What about Valid? According to what God said, Valid is a corrupt man. How can we follow him for our prayers? Abu Musa Ashari hides the truth. Being neutral in the affairs of the Muslims is them. one of the major sins. They've a person who is sympathetic divided. to the Muslims can't remain neutral. The Sheikh what doesn't want to about? break the allegiance with the Caliph. The Caliph doesn't know what's happening in Kufa. What does this By division mean? The Sheikh wants to tell the Caliph the truth. Those who are after this world and the hereafter will follow Walid. Those who are neutral and live like hermits will follow Abu Masu Ashari. Those who don't want anything in this world and the hereafter will follow the Sheikh of Kufa, who hasn't shown up yet. Allah is great, powerful prayer! Hmm. You've broken your allegiance Allah and you'll go to hell, so you have to great, follow yourself. Shut up, prayer. you infidel. Prostrate!
Ghatam, will you follow the Sheikh or Walid? Walid is a really tough man, ma'am. I thought he was killed with my arrow last night. <laughs> a man never gets killed by a woman's arrow. It only brings him to his knees. Come. what you've done to Walid. Don't be so stubborn, girl. I know there is a storm in your heart. Following Walid is a sin. Oh, Sheikh. It was a horrible precedent. The house of God has one pulpit and Walid has occupied it. Abu Musa Ashari has become the leader of the neutral people in Kufa. He knew that we won't accept that. You also claim to be a leader. How many imams can lead the prayers in one mosque? It is recommended that only one person can lead the prayer. This fragmentation is a sign of the days of ignorance before Islam. At that time, each tribe would follow a separate idol for prayers in Kaaba. The idols, which had more adornments and gold, had more grandeur and higher positions. For the time being, Kufa is struck with the same misery. Saying prayers in this mosque is religiously forbidden to all of you. I'm speechless, Malik. That man and his daughter always come up with new seditious ideas. Oh, God. Please lead these seditious people to the right path. Allah is great! Prostrate! Allah is great! Allah is great! Allah is great! Blessings and grace be upon you. In the name of Allah, the compassion Should we follow the, the thug of Kufa? Hmm. Yes, oh, the follow him, but without the, the intention for oh, prayers. Malik. In our prayers, we bow before God, not Valid. By reviving tribalism, Valid wants to make the tribes in Kufa fight with each other. If Abu Musa Ashari knows what Valid is up to, he's an ambitious person. And if he doesn't know, then he's stupid. Malik, don't allow Valid to carry out his plot by following him. Oh, Allah, send blessings on Muhammad and the progeny of Muhammad. Anyone who supports this sheikh should follow or lead. You were the one who sowed the seeds of sedition, son of Masud. Yes, you. You caused the rift between the Muslims of Kufa. What's happened now? Until yesterday, you were shouting that Valid wasn't a righteous person. But today, you're following him. Has Valid brought you as well? Abu Musa, 
You said the conflict between Walid and me was because of worldly affairs. You claimed that you would remain neutral and you wouldn't interfere in worldly affairs. Be steadfast in your ideas. Am I doing something wrong just because I'm trying to stop the hostility with Walid? You're committing a sin. You're committing a sin. By you following Valid, you are going back on your claims. If you weren't sure, why did you slander and disrespect a Muslim? When did I go back on my claim? Whatever you've heard from me about Walid is nothing but the truth. Would I lie to you? Well then, we are not allowed to follow him. If I don't follow him, I would commit a sin. You're crazy. And you're naive, Abu Musa. You're easily tricked. Be careful not to trade your faith for anything. I ask God for forgiveness. You see, Abu Zubayl, we won't reach our goals as long as he's in Kufa. Be careful, so I say the prayers properly. No, Wada, no. As long as the Sheikh is in Kafar, anything we do is useless. The Azdis decided not to avenge Dinar only after the Sheikh talked to them. All he needs to do is to send his messenger to tell Ali what's happened in Kafar. If Ali intervenes in the conflict with the people in Kafar, all our efforts will be in vain. Hmm. Close the gate of Kafar to the Sheikh's messenger. What should we do with Abba Gautam? Every day he issues a new fiery decree. Don't be afraid of someone who expresses their ideas loudly. For Abu Ghutan, no enemy is stronger than himself. I don't want you to bother them, Wadan. Go take care of the Sheikh's messenger. What's happened? You weren't concentrating while you were praying. Your body was in the mosque, but your soul was not in the mosque. It wasn't with God. Where were you, Walid? <sighs> Girls with black eyes are rivals of God. The nanny has really got good taste. Come here, poet. I'm sure that the news of the nanny will make the magic of your poem ineffective. <laughs> ah, nanny. <sighs> I got it. The answer was really poetic. Following Walid is forbidden. Mm. Following the person you love is infidelity. Isn't it? Mm. I don't know. Hmm? You don't know? <laughs> <laughs> you can't find the magic words for the poem. You can't find the right words. Your worn-out and pedantic poems are good for nothing. I found a lively anthology with a lot of poems that can cure the heart of thousands of people in love. Is it the anthology of poems by no. Araki? No. It's the anthology of the daughter of Kufar, with a long ode on the Euphrates and a black eyes. Mm. Mm. The Euphrates of my poems is flowing. The black eyes of my poems are alive. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mm. I'll do away with all my oats if you just order. Oh, oh. got um. You're swimming like a duck again, boy. It's because of the water in the Euphrates, <laughs> Nanny. It makes my soul young. What have you made for dinner, Nanny? Soup with eight types of grains. Mm -hmm. Has the veiled lady cooked it? Uh-huh. I won't eat it. I don't want it. I don't like her cooking any more. Has she found out about Gotan? Yes. A woman with tribal roots who doesn't know what her husband is up to would be better used as a dropping for heating up the furnace. Mm. She smells everything and stares at everyone like a sheepdog. She's suspicious of everything. She loves you so much. I'm suspicious of her cooking. Really shameless! I wish that you could. You can't do that. Put it back. You disrespected her entire tribe. She is right. Not only my tribe, but also my youth and my you life. You can go if you're sorry. Go! Should I go? Where to? Where exactly should I go? I think you're dismissing me a bit too late, Walid. I have to stay. Do I smell of smoke? Why did you spit on me? I participated in the feast of your desire, so you wouldn't ever be able to enjoy false loves. You can smell me. I smell like the camels you stole from my tribe. After all of the promises and lies that you told. You'd better spit on yourself, you debauched. I was a simple desert-dwelling woman who was being tricked thousands of times every day because of the lies that you told me. Where should I go now? I'm not a prominent person in this palace with all of your brides. And the downtrodden people of my tribe, they don't know me anymore! Oh, what has made you so upset, darling? My fate is upsetting. How old am I? You were here, you saw. I've combed the hair of ten brides for him. With my own hands, I adorned all of their hair with cardamom and cloves. He tosses and turns all night long, and sighs and dreams of a new desire. Is Gautam his new desire? <sighs> Governors are the biggest lies for their brides. He has a big heart, he says. But it is filled with love. Love for power only. Don't make Otam miserable like you've made the me. The veiled one. <laughs> Walid caused the disunity. Today, the tribe Jinkuf are standing up against each other, Abagotam. People like Ashas Kendi are seduced by Walid's gold coins, and they've armed their warriors to fight with the Azd and Assad tribes. Abu Musa Ashari wants to have it both ways. And the Nakai Malik al Ashtar sometimes opposes Walid and sometimes reconciles with him. People in Kufa are divided, Abagotam. 
I swear to God, if those who have caused the division in Kufa aren't destroyed, fathers will draw their swords against their own sons, and brothers will fight each other. We should do something before Kufa is ruined, Abagotam. Why is the Sheikh hiding the truth? He is one of those people who caused the division in Kufa. He's compromised with Ali. Instead of religion, he's propagating Ali in Kufa. The followers of Ali won't break their allegiance, Abba Gutam. I'm sure that Ali considers himself as the next Khalif after Osman. He's chosen to remain silent for hundreds of reasons and doesn't want to take part in toppling Osman. Do you think Ali is a person who would compromise? Hmm. Why is Ali silent about the new precedents by the Khalif? Ali and Osman both come from the Goresh tribe and are descendants of Abu Nadaf. They're both the Prophet's sons-in-law. Is there any stronger reason for Ali's silence besides their relation? He was Osman's rival in Omar's six-man council. So I don't think a cautious person like Ali would take any risks to break his allegiance to the Khalif and rise up against him. After Osman, Muslims will hesitate to pay allegiance to Ali, won't they? They'll think that Ali pushed his rival aside to take his position, won't they? Hmm? Hmm. Only God knows. Are you sorry? What for? For breaking your allegiance to the Caliph. I just did my religious duty. Why should I be sorry? So then get ready, Abba Gotam. We'll finish this job. The governor and the Sheikh of Kufa are standing in our way to topple the Caliph. You and your sons should kill the Sheikh. My sons and I will kill Walid. Is it a deal? Wait. We'll kill Walid. <clears throat> Killing Walid. Killing Walid isn't something easy. You won't be able to do that. If you're honest, kill the Sheikh. Why don't you want to kill the Sheikh? For the same reason that you don't want to kill the Sheikh. Hmm? Do you know what my reason is? Mm-hmm. The followers of Walid are after the material world, but the followers of the Sheikh are after the spiritual world. Those who are with the Sheikh support him because of his faith. Those who are with Walid want to get their hands on the treasury of Kufa. If we kill the Sheikh, his followers would calm down after taking revenge. But if we kill Walid, the treasury of Kufa will still be there. I don't think you can find anyone in Kufa who would want to get revenge for Walid's blood. Getting revenge for Walid? The Caliph Osman will get revenge for Alid. Hmm. The Caliph? He's in Medina, not Kufa. Oh my God. Have you brought up an angel or a human being, Abba Gotam? Oh. <laughs> I'll accept it. 
We'll kill the Sheikh. What will you do with his followers? We'll kill him in a way that no one would get suspicious of us. How are you going to kill Walid? Walid will be killed by someone who's close to him. Huh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Walid, I'll kill you with the arrow of love. And I'll kill your enemies with the arrow of anger. Hurry up, Walid. Kufa belongs to us. Has something happened? Kufa's daughter doesn't know about it? Recently, the sharp eyes of the daughter of Kufa haven't been seen clearly, and she's been hard of hearing. You seem to be quite a disorientated girl. We were the ones who would always ask you if something happened. Is there a problem? If I tell you, it'll make your blood boil. You'll kill me and yourself. Tell me why you're terrified. Pray for the Sheikh of Kufa. Did he die? I wish he were dead. Then we wouldn't have to be so upset. People in Kufa would have shown more respect to a dead Sheikh. You'd be wise to pack up your things. We might want to leave Kufa in an instant. They've decided to send the Sheikh into exile. Got him. We were supposed to illuminate Kufa and slaughter camels and cook food. You had dreamed that Kufa was celebrate its daughter's wedding. You're not lucky. Women's dreams are false. I had to leave with a herd of children. I should carry one of them on my shoulders, one of them in my arms, and one of them in my womb. It'll kill me. I wish I were dead. We are unfortunate people. We're in serious trouble. Don't make a lot of noise. By being a woman, you've only learned how to complain and get pregnant. You can become pregnant again and give birth to more sons. If the Sheikh leaves Kufa, Valid will deal with those who have broken their allegiance. We've inflicted a wound on Valid. If he expels the Sheikh from the city, he'll destroy us. We are losers on both sides. People in Kufa are servants to their greed and fear. Today they stand up for their Sheikh, but if Valid gives them a dirty look, they'll betray us all. We have to leave the city before it's too late. We'll be prey to Valid's men if we stay in Kufa. You're a villain, Ibn Wahab. He knew that the Sheikh would soon be sent into exile. He forced us to kill the Sheikh on purpose. He knew that we won't accept that. Now we have no option but to kill Walid. We've been tricked. We've been tricked. We've been tricked. You wretch. To hell with you. Where are you going, Abba Gautam? I know what to do with him. Nothing has happened, Abba Gautam. Why are you so upset? Nothing has happened. If Walid forces the Sheikh out of Kufa, he'll puff out his chest proudly and... We'll challenge everyone! What should I be happy about? About the people in Kufa who follow two different people in their morning and noon prayers? I'm quite sure that these low lives who know what we are up to will soon reconcile with Walid. 
If Walid finds out what we're going to do, he'll kill us with his sword. With what evidence? Evidence? What does he need evidence for? We're the black sheep of the family in Kufa. Walid is the wolf you humiliated in the mosque. Don't you remember? Huh? Oh, no. You only see one side of the war. Blood and the sword. Why can't you believe that we can kill people like Walid only by giving the nod? Kill him? So what are you waiting for? If you can do it, kill Walid. Kill him! Walid is dead! Is he dead? If Walid were alive, you know you couldn't walk freely in Kufa and swear at him. My arrow has struck Walid's heart. So tell me, did you kill Valid in your dream? If I tell you, can you put up with it? Tell me that I heard you wrong, Gautam. I didn't say something bad. Oh, <laughs> oh you're shameless. You're really shameless. I have always taught you chastity! So what? So I would creep into the cellar whenever I heard someone knocking on the door, or stick my finger in my mouth and tell the guests with a coarse voice like men, You're welcome! So I wouldn't have the right to recite the Quran and cry out loud at my mother's grave? Has God given me eyes so you would tell me what I should see? Has he given me my heart so you would tell me who I should love? Can't I love someone? Can't I see? I knew that you couldn't stand hearing it. So stick your fingers into your ears so you won't hear anything. I didn't humiliate Walid because he's an enemy of God. I did it so Walid would be mine, can't you see? I have taken refuge in Allah from the accursed Satans. The accursed! The accursed! I take refuge in Allah from sins! Oh, God! Forgive me! Forgive me! Forgive me! You're not pious! pious. Do all brave men draw their swords against their sisters? Abba Gautam, tell your brave sons that you buried your daughter alive many years ago. Tell them that I spent the days I was young with you and I didn't hear anything besides the religious duties that can be done with swords. Tell them why I hate to get married. Tell them that you've killed the feminine spirit of your daughter. What I want to tell Walid isn't something two people in love should say to each other. It's something two crazy people would tell each other. Haven't you seen a female warrior? If I'm not allowed to wear armor, my black eyes act like armor. My tongue is just like a sharp sword. My eyebrows are like two bows and my lock of hair like a noose. You want Walid's blood and I want Walid's power. When a devil like you lives in this house, blessings and faith won't come to this house. I'll cut you into pieces, you're so shameless. Kill me and relieve me of this world, you idiot. Ah! Stop it. Put it back. Shut up, you infidel. <laughs> What have you done to yourself, girl? I'm in this hell because of you, Abba Gautam. You've been a father to me, not a mother. I'm a man. And I could only be a father. So be a father again. Tell me that getting married to Walid is forbidden as he's an enemy of God. These are the only things you can talk about. Governor, the people in Kufa are about to rise up. 
There are lots of people in front of the Sheikh's house. Everybody wants him to stay in Kufa. What is the Sheikh doing? He wants people to be patient. Only patient? No. He also yeah. talks about unity among the people in Kufa. Did you hear that? Unity among the people. What should we do now? Shouldn't we execute the Caliph's order? If we want to execute the Caliph's order, the people in Kufa are both part of the problem and the solution. If some of them want the Sheikh to leave Kufa, <laughs> they can open the way for him. Do you mean we should make the people fight with each other? If we want to execute the order, and if the people in Kufa want to stop us, then we have no option but war. Kufa will be an insecure place, Abu Zubaid. So, you should forget about the Caliph's order. I understood what Abu Zubaid said, Ashas. War among the people in Kufar means a war of words. It's not a war with swords. My men will go into this conflict so there can be no bloodshed. The Sheikh is worried about fratricide. After he sees his opponents and proponents, he will leave. He leave Kufar willingly. I'll abide by what the majority decides. Are you guys deaf and dumb? Say something. You're the mouth of these people, Lashas. As long as Kufa is full of tension, you shouldn't pin your hopes on Hamdan's promise. Take care of everything in Kufa, Wadan. No one should disrespect the Sheik. Escort him out of the city with respect. Yes, sir. You should also hurry up. I want you to treat the opponents and proponents equally. Hmm. We only have tonight. You can go now. <laughs>